Would you please welcome on stage the brilliant Amir Kosaka! Hello, how are we doing so far today? Are we having a good time? It's been good, ain't it? Laughing and stuff has been laughing. I don't want to bring down the atmosphere as soon as I've come on. Because we've all been laughing, having a good time. We just discussed it a second ago, didn't we? I'm not, I'm not too good at the moment. I'm a little bit terrible because I just broke up with my girlfriend, so things are little... Thank you. I did cheat on her though, so I don't want to I didn't really, I shouldn't joke. Maybe I should. I'm meant to be a comedian, ain't I? <laughs> she just had this amazing ability where she'd always make me feel like I was the bad guy. Any conversation we'd have would end up as an argument. And there was never anything I could do that. Um. Yeah, somehow I feel like the bad guy. I'll give an example. So I'd say to her something like, I'm going out. <laughs> and then she said to me, What time are you coming back? And then I'd say to her, Ten. <laughs> and then she said to me, mm, Ten's pretty late, isn't it? Ten's pretty late. <laughs> and then I'd say to her, Okay, nine. <laughs> And then she says, well, if you're coming back at nine, there's no point really going out, is there, if you're coming back at nine? <laughs> and then I say to her, okay, I won't go out. <laughs> and then she says, oh, don't stay in just because of me. <laughs> and then I say to her, okay, I'll go out then. She wanted to do some role play. <laughs> in the bedroom. But then she got jealous of her own character. <laughs> Apparently I was finding Vivian too attractive. <laughs> I tried to explain to her that I didn't. It was Drake. Because she wouldn't believe me. So I then had to sit her down and explain to her for 30 minutes the differences between me and Drake and the reasons why I found Vivian so attractive. Which was difficult because Drake was just me with a Geordie accent. It's the only accent I could I did try and sort things out with her. Though. I went over to her and told her about how she always made me feel like the bad guy. I think it would save our relationship. And this is the face she pulled. This is what Facebook like. <laughs> she was crying her eyes out. I'm not really good with faces, but she was really... <laughs> so what are you doing? Why are you crying? Stop it. I don't like seeing you cry. She looked at me as a tear trickled down her cheek. She said to me, she said, you never kissed me for no reason. You never initiated interest. You isolated me from my friends, then you isolated yourself from me. You made me lonely. You wanted to go out till 10 p.m. <laughs> You 
never told me that you love me. And you never noticed how much I love you. Plus, <laughs> when I try to spice things up a little bit with some role play in the bedroom, you wanted me to be my sister Vivian. <laughs> always try to make you feel like the bad guy, did she? Because <laughs> one thing I don't like is when people try to act like they're the innocent victims. <laughs> Especially when they do it just by putting on a silly, innocent voice. <laughs> 